Good morning to you. Very good morning to you. This is Power Talk, and today it's not with Ram. I am sitting in for Ramaguko. My name is Stephanie Ayeta, and a great show awaits you. Yeah, it's going to be as powerful as it usually is, and uh, we're going to talk about something very interesting. But before we get to the topic, uh, you can interact with us on our social media handles. That is at Y254, and the hashtag to use today is power talk at uh, y254 also at stephanie ayeta and the topic we are discussing today is something that uh, touches almost everyone's life one way or another because it's about relationship and we're talking about what makes a happy relationship any ideas yes then uh, forward to us on our social media handle and for that conversation i am joined with two guests uh, one is yet to join us uh, sorry for that but uh currently we have antonin jenga who's a counseling psychologist yes yeah and you this is not a new face <laughs> it's not a new face uh -huh. uh, today i'm glad uh, leo to have a conversation with you yes. today it's, so you're it's changing tough, things eh? dog. It's yes <laughs> and at least leo pia need to feel na ukuwe ready because mimi ram hata utaambia na kina timo mimi ram na mwachanga maswali maswali hey i so didn't i, I didn't did come prepared <laughs> Well, we'll to tend on a flow. Yeah, yes. yeah, so uh, let's 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 begin talking. Okay. What makes a happy relationship? Uh, what I can say is, you know, a happy relationship is individual, mm -hmm. and uh, different uh, partners or different couples define their own happiness uh -huh. based on how they want it to be in the relationship. You know, um, in a psychological perspective, I'd say mm -hmm. the most important thing that makes a happy relationship is communication. You know, I'm a counselor and I've had clients uh, with different issues to do with communication. You know, communication is actually the, 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 the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about communication, I don't, I don't mean only a long distance relationship, but also a relationship that maybe we're on an anger kill at time. Mm -hmm. You know, communication is the key thing. And if there is no communication, trust you me, in a relationship, nothing can work. Because trust you me, ebu ni ambie kama ni mtu menye anashinda kikuambia, I am busy all the time. I, one thing I usually believe is, yeah. there is nothing like, a partner or your partner says, saying, I am busy, I am busy all the time. Kila you know? so they don't have time for you. Exactly. They, you know, hata kama unafanya kazi yoyote, there are breaks. Kuna mm. lunch, eta kama, kama huta pata lunch break, maybe kuna evening break, kama ya yeah, subwe sane. Mm. Yeah, mina juwanga tu kuna ile break, hata kama ni break ya 10 minutes, ama 15 minutes, ama 20 minutes. Yeah. There's that break you can check up, umpigie your partner wako mulize how are you, but you know their partners actually, and uh, una pata na complain because uh, some of the clients have heard uh, they're saying that uh, their partners call them two weeks after. Oh. Unaona? Na ni mtu wako Nairobi wako Nairobi <laughs> lakini yako too busy na I'm called two weeks after. How do you expect this relationship of ours to build if you're not communicating to me? Mm -hmm. Actually communication is one of the love languages. Yeah. You know? And and does it uh, you know is it for both sides the man and the woman ama communication ya yeah, the ladies being Apa, a love language. Apa, na communication <laughs> near both, both both sides. You know, unajua kuna as much as you know our ladies mm. wana penda mwanaume na communicate. The same same way a man needs a, a lady who communicates. Okay. Unona? So it doesn't mean that uh, when it comes to communication in gender moja ina inapenda communication kuliko the other. Mm. Both of us should communicate. It shows actually how much you really you really value this relationship and okay. if you communicate it means you're seeing this relationship in the long term aspect you're not looking at it in the short term aspect but the moment you have a partner if you're watching mm -hmm. and your partner does not communicate it means that it communicates indirectly that this partner of yours is viewing this relationship in the short term basis uh -huh. but if it is communication when i talk about communication see communication here una mkolo once a week it doesn't matter say lazima you call three times a day you mm -hmm. can just call once a day it is very important. Atakama uko busy, atakama another time before ulale. Mm -hmm. Just call how umeshinda aje umeshinda poa. Mm -hmm. You know. And <laughs> when is, you when you speak uh, of communication, Kwanza, mm -hmm. you you're mostly uh, alluding to calls. Yes. Yeah. And what about to me? I'm not a person to. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like calling a mm. lot. I yes, prefer yes. texting. So is that communication enough for like after every day? Every day you're not calling, but you're texting me. Is that communication still? Uh, it is communication. As I started, I said, you know, when it comes to making a, a happy relationship, it all depends on an individual, or it, it all depends with the partners or the couples mm -hmm. in that in that relationship. So if you as couples, you are you as partners, eh? yeah. maybe you are married, or maybe you are in that stage of dating or courtship. Eh? And you're okay with your partner maybe not calling because maybe job yake in a, in a allow to text. It is fine. If you're okay with it, it is fine because 
we can talk about communication and calling and all that kuna but kuna mtu mwenye for example ha anaonanga calling is too much for them maybe they are not a call person mm -hmm. they better text but if it is okay for you then why not but i usually uh, usually when it comes to communication communicate communication mm -hmm. does not actually have to do with only calling you can text Yeah. You can uh you can communicate in whichever angle you want with whichever way you want to communicate. It doesn't uh, it's a limit kitu yoyote communication. Mm -hmm. Bora tu iko comfortable kwa partner kwa ama kwa relationship yenu. Uh, that's that's so, it. So what happens uh in the case of making both parties happy mm -hmm. in the case that, that the man mm -hmm. loves texting and the lady loves calling. Mm. So what how do you meet katikati? The man loves texting and the lady loves calling. Calling, yeah. And you both want, you know, a happy relationship. Uh before you start even this relationship, you have to now um have a conversation one on one, not via call or not via text. Uh -huh. You know, I usually believe talking of that, let me let me say something. I usually believe mm -hmm. even if it comes to a situation where by you feel that like you feel like this relationship is not heading somewhere and you want to end it or you want to call it quits. Yeah. I don't I don't advocate for calling it quits via call or text. You better meet up. The same same way you started this relationship. Ata kama yes exactly. Ata kama uli approach huyu msichana ama ata kama huyu msichana ali shoot shots kwa huyu kijana kwa DM. Pata nini? Ongeeni. Muongea in a way that mtaelewana. Kama umwambie mimi by the way I don't I don't love calls because of this and that. If it is valid enough then why not? If you both of you are into each other, you will you will try as much as possible to understand your partner. So communication is one of the ways to make a relationship happy, but there's also another thing Yeah. And you mention the yeah. love languages. The love languages. Knowing your partner's love language. Hiyo ndio kitu wenye watu wengi hawajui. Do you know the love languages? Yeah, I I, I believe I am. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell me so the, the love languages you so know. So the questions have begun. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me even if it is two love uh, how, how many la okay for a lady. Uh -huh. Let's say for you now. Uh -huh. What are some of the love languages you do want a, a man to do for you? Uh, some of the love languages yes. i would want to be constantly be reaffirmed that they love me affirmation affirmation exactly yes. uh -huh. and uh, what else gifts uh -huh. I, i love gifts exactly that's that's the second <laughs> love language uh -huh. there is also quality time Quali yes quality you know? time so there is there is words there is somebody who maybe uh, loves a word of affirmation and talk about words of affirmation is a uh, You know it's important even though your your love language is not words of affirmation every mm. every relationship every partner anapenda ngakiambia those sweet words kwanza wasichana najua wanapenda sana una una mshwa asubuhi ukiambiwa you know uh, you make you make my days you are my world mm -hmm. you, 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 yani, you, are, you are my prayer request you came to me in a full <laughs> a uh, package <laughs> yani uliniletea uli kwangu kama full package you know such such sweet words yeah. are, are some of the things that pushes the relationship hata kama kwa relationship yenu mko na issue ama argument mm -hmm. trust you me but naoka kikwambia kitu kama hiyo we eh? get to ah, una, 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 una feel mean... too vizuri you know mm -hmm. so their partners also uh, the, the first one mesema ni words of affirmation that those who love gifts yeah. and that those who love uh, quality time mm -hmm. let me tell you something quality time is one of the major uh, love languages because i believe You cannot your relationship cannot be happy your relationship cannot move forward if you don't give each other quality time and I talk about quality time mm -hmm. not just time but quality time not just spending not just, okay. yeah, not just time not just time yes because there's there time now, wait, wait. exactly so what is quality time quality time is the ile time na spend not not uh, you, you, when you spend time together mm -hmm. maybe mko pamoja you just don't uh spend time for 30 minutes 15 minutes mm -hmm. you spend time and bond and talk about the future the goals and meet up quality time is not meeting once a week mm -hmm. quality time is making time not only meeting indoors because kuna relationships una partner uko na partner wako na bana hujaimpeleka date unakanga tu kwa unakanga tu kwa nyumba you know it is important actually the uh, the people would say kwanza mm -hmm. anajua kwa relationships uh, zikianza unapata partner anasema si lazima unipeleke date mimi na kuanga tu mtu simple but let me tell you something yeah There, there, there is that hata kama partner wako amesema apendi dates but the moment you just decide and take your partner as in kisema date i don't mean expensive dates mm. there are those people who love just going somewhere maybe there is green grass mm. na mketi chini muende nunua snacks na mketi muonge si lazima muende mahali expensive muanze kuongea ama muanze muende maybe vacation in, mm. and mombasa and all those things si lazima even a walk yes even a walk you can take a walk that's that's one of the quality times mm. so you need you need to you need to notice you, know, you need to realize what your partner loves and actually this conversation uh, a love language should start even before you uh, you start you begin this relationship 
Okay, so exactly. le let's begin from the different stages of our relationship. Mm. So we start with the dating. No, 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 uh -huh. no, 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 See, no, 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 yeah. But you know, when the moment you are to to Wangaliang to short term, the long term aspect here dating in marriage. Mm -hmm. So before it gets to marriage, the first thing, which is the most important thing, yeah. and, the, and the people normally forget, is friendship. Uh, friendship. Exactly. That should be the first the stage. The first thing. Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, mm -hmm. The people will say love. I believe uh, the people will say love at first sight. But honestly speaking, there's nothing like love at first sight. Why? I meet you. I fall in love with you. I've just fallen in love with you, maybe because of what. Of how, you you look. Gay, how you look, uh -huh. but I have not gotten to know you. So that is not love. That is not love. What is that? Come and that see is, love. It can be lust, it can be infatuation. Lust, infatuation? Yes. So, now, where does <laughs> someone to crush on someone? Let me do crush. Cr <laughs> having a crush on someone is liking someone. Uh -huh. Okay. When you, well, let, so, what do you call, call the stages of uh, the relationship before you think marriage? The first stage is. Uh, friendship. Okay. And I talk about friendship. Let me let me state it clearly. Mm -hmm. well, the moment you you now get somebody, and the moment now you have said you wanna be you wanna you wanna uh, do life with this person. Yeah. Be it male or female, I usually believe be friends for at least not less than six months. Six months. Not less than six months. And in those six months, and one mistake people do make is involving sex. Mm. Let me tell you something. Sex in friendship. And, and you had seen this relationship going somewhere, will kill it all. Uh -huh. You know, sex, when you talk about sex, it's something so soul tying. And in Nikitu, in a, in a involved spirits, mm -hmm. tying and everything. So six. if you've become, you've decided to be friends, be friends for the six months. Know that person well. Mm -hmm. Don't involve too much uh, feelings and attraction and intimacy and all those things. So what should be involved in the friendship stage? In the friendship stage, you just get to know this person. Just get to know Vitu uh, Jizanyana what can this person do? You know, the basic things in that friendship. Call each other, mm -hmm. but at any once in a while, you know, mm -hmm. check up on this person, show effort. Mm -hmm. Show effort. If you really want to, if you're really seeing uh, uh, this relationship going somewhere, somewhere, show effort. So after friendship now for the six months, okay. is now where you, you decide now, if you're comfortable, you move into dating. Now you move to dating. Yes. Okay. And when you talk about dating, dating una join as a define as come dating una join a define you are. Mm -hmm. The people define dating as going on dates. Yeah, exactly. So some people say there's actually there's dating and then courtship. Yes. So what is dating to you? D dating actually psychologically dating is that aspect of knowing somebody as more than friends. Men sasa ku involve feelings. Now, mm -hmm. love has started being involved. So you know? now you're not seeing any other people because what you're yes. dating, you're going on coffee dates with different people to see which one is. Apana, apana, apana. mtu mwenye anakanga kuenda shopping when it comes to relationship. Would you want to shop a partner? <laughs> Ati unayenda window shopping, unasema, <laughs> uyu apana. Unayeka watu sita, unasema, no, this one has this and this. No, uh -huh. if you want to meet but, somebody. But you don't know if you want to be with this this person so i'm wondering because you you're just single mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and you're being approached by different people yes. so you this one invites you for a coffee today you mm -hmm. go for coffee mm -hmm. just to hear him out come if you're the lady the, the other one invites you for pizza date uh, on tuesday you know mm -hmm. you go and you hear the manifesto another one invites you for another dinner on friday you know you go to see uh which one you would yeah. want to you know settle with is that is that wrong uh, what I can say is, let me let me not say if it is wrong or not, but uh -huh. let me say, let me tell you this: eh? the moment you're single, yeah. definitely no one would want to remain single for the rest of their lives until they are dead. Mm -hmm. At least somebody, honestly speaking, lazima unataka mtu mahali, lazima. So even before you think of now wanting to have a partner, you first have to know what you really want. Okay. And knowing what you want doesn't mean you should settle for less. You should mm. not. You should never compromise. Let me tell you something. If you're there and you're you're single and you want to date, never compromise the quality or the character type of a man you want. Mm -hmm. Una me andika the type of people we want. Una, una pata the first thing ladies on andika tall, dark and handsome. Yeah, and handsome, yeah. You know, <laughs> the lafu kuna mugi andika tall, dark and handsome, loving, loyal and caring. But let me tell you when I when I, when I talk about compromise, like when I, when I say you should no. never compromise, I mean if you want a date mm -hmm. and you meet a partner who is short, dark, and handsome. Mm -hmm. Don't compromise that. So you shouldn't go for short, dark. Don't, you wanted a tall guy. Mm -hmm. 
So if we imagine, we may say, man, this guy is short, dark and handsome, loving, caring and loyal. Lakini, wewe yeah. mwenyewe before, ulikuwa nataka mtu tall. So when you meet a tall guy who is good looking and has all these qualities, wouldn't you be thinking of this other person? <laughs> of this other, oh, nasema, sasa mimi, nilikuwa nataka mtu mrefu, lakini unimfupi, lakini yako na qualities zote. Yeah. So I usually say, never compromise. That's actually one of the, uh, that, that's one of the things that people ignore. They, co they compromise on what they want. Mm. But someone mm -hmm. might say that, uh, you know, people actually say that you're being too choosy, you're being too picky, because they're saying you know, some are unrealistic. Mm. You get that person and yes. then you can compromise on one thing because you will look for Mr. Perfect mm -hmm. or you look for Lady Perfect and you might never really get to that person. You always get, you might yeah. get the tall, dark and handsome, but mm -hmm. you, he, he won't be as caring, you know? Mm -hmm. So you've gotten all the physical qualities, but now the emotional bit or the things you, that you want, the affection, he doesn't give it to you. So at this point, is it still okay not to compromise? Never compromise. Steph, you see why you compromise? Ngoje mbaka ufike 50 until you get that. Listen, uh, let, me, let me give you an example. I wanna, uh, now watch and kulize swali. I have three people here. Sawa. Uh -huh. When you ask me, I'm going to pick. Aya. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Now let me give an instance of a man. Now, na kuna ma, na, there are three ladies. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a man, no, no. Let me give it an example of now. You as a lady, and you, you, you aren't a man. Mm -hmm. Let's an example here, Dim. So, kuna wana ume watatu. Number one, mm -hmm. uh, we we maybe unataka quality here. Tall, dark, and handsome, loving, caring, and loyal. That is so. Person number one is tall, dark, and handsome, loving, caring, and loyal. Lakona like zote tatu. Okay. Person number two is tall, not dark, but light skin and so handsome, <laughs> but is loyal, caring, and loving. That is person number two. Person number three is tall, dark, and handsome, caring, loving, and not loyal. Who would you pick? Definitely not number three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so who would you pick? I would go for number one. Because why, why, why not number two? Because I wanted tall, dark, and handsome, loving, caring, and loyal. Exactly. But wh what exactly. happens in the event that you don't get that person? Uh, How do you know by, <laughs> by, by, by not choosing this, you know, the, the, the light-skinned one, mm -hmm. and waiting for the, the dark one, that mm -hmm. you will not get him? How do you know that? Actually, watch who you I'm still waiting for my the, Mr. Right. Mr. Right Atakuja, how do you Mr. Right Atakuja, let me tell you something. Kamu kwa hapu unafikiria Mr. Right Atakuja, Mr. Right will always come. Okay. Maybe ata kwa hapu kwa kwa inbox yako na niwe unahigno. <laughs> But you, you know? Can, you can't miss Mr. Right kama kwa inbox. No, 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 no. There are people who actually ignore Mr. Right na kwa hapu. Eh, okay. Unajua, unajua we're talking about uh, knowing kama uyu ndio, knowing kama uyu mtu wako ataifika mwenye unataka. You know, no, no, nobody is perfect. Mm. No man is perfect, no lady is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, ata kama unasema, ataka, you should never compromise in, in anything. Nobody is perfect. But let me tell you something. It is very important to never compromise on what you want. So you just go for your tall, dark, handsome. Go for what you want, exactly. The moment now you choose tall, dark, and handsome, mm -hmm. loving, caring, and not loyal. Useme, ah, uyu msea kona zote physical qualities, lakini when it comes to personality and character, he is loving and caring, but he's not loyal. Maybe sooner or later, ata realize ni mimi ata change. There's nothing like that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What? Change doesn't start with you telling this person to change. Mm -hmm. Change starts with me deciding I'm going to change. You want to change. You cannot change someone, by the way. Can I tell you something? Unona vinyo watu wanasemanga mtu wakikosea, ama mtu wakichit. Ah, uya tabadilika. Next time. Ah, ndacha ni mpea chances kama mbili. Maybe sometime, someday at a notice I am worth. Let me tell you something. You cannot change someone. It's them. It's up to them, them to, decide to decide whether they are going to change. Once a cheater, always a cheater. No. Once a cheater, not always a cheater. Until they decide. Until they decide to change. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so now, now we were talking about all the stages. Mm -hmm. So in my friendship, not for uh, not less than six months. Then now dating. Mm -hmm. You date, know this person, get to involve love, intimacy, at least, kidogo, kidogo, pale. And dating, you should not date for not less than two years. Two so years. between let's say between let's say between one year six months to two years. Mm. Now after dating is when I will go to courtship. Okay, so the dating <laughs> is that long before you get to courtship. Yes, because dating now you get to know someone before. Not just so in your courtship. Mm. The moment you get into courtship level, courtship level always leads to marriage. When mm. courtship level na kuangalia party introduction, okay, ile party promise ring, 
ile part ya unajua promise ring unajua kuna kwa na ring start by the before you fikia marriage oh educate educate me let, let me tell you something <laughs> if you are there and you're listening and you're, and you're a lady and or you're a man let me tell you maybe you didn't know this but i usually say if uh, if you really love if you really if you really want somebody akuonesha na kupenda the three rings the first ring is a promise ring the promise ring is inakuja ngai part ya dating anakupatianga kuku promise he will be there for you he will always be with you Mm-hmm. atakuwa na hapo akupende akuoneshe akupende akuone respect your love languages aku respect and all those things the promise ring is normally put in uh, exactly. this finger, finger this middle finger the middle finger the middle finger this middle finger uh-huh. this is the promise ring okay this is the promise ring yes so after the promise ring now you go to the engagement ring mm-hmm. engagement ring sina kuanga kidole gani this one this one exactly the wedding finger so after the engagement ring now you go to the marriage so mm-hmm. there are three rings So now the when it comes to now after dating not less than uh, no, not, not less than so same one, one year, year six months uh-huh. to two years now that's dating now we go to courtship you court you know you get to introduce your partner to your parents what we know wanajua cousins zako and everything mm-hmm. when it, when you get into courtship trust you me hapo kama hauko careful kama hauko notice some of the red flags ukianzaanza your relationship it will be difficult actually for you to actually get into marriage actually most relationships end in the courtship angle mm-hmm. most relationship end after they have introduced their partners to the parents Wow. Exactly. Wow. Unapata ame introduce wazazi wazazi, wazazi, wazazi wanajua kila kitu imeanza introduction wazazi wameenda introduction kwa wazazi relationship imeanza kuwa na issues imekuwa mapo imekuwa mapo how do you get past a dating to courtship without realizing the red flags is, is it that your partner fails to show mm-hmm. the other side you know the red flag side of them your partner actually shows your partner actually shows the red flags mm-hmm. but people are let me tell you something the moment uh, you get into another uh, you get into a relationship eh, people mm-hmm. people people are so blinded by love love is blind <laughs> people are so blinded when they cover when they a cloud of love that they don't see beyond that you know one thing i usually say before this partner there was you you should always come first no matter what no matter take what. care of your happiness peace of mind mental stability and if this person doesn't give you the three you should never compromise that relationship because okay. if you're not happy in that relationship you will never move forward you as a person you will be mentally disturbed utanza kuona anxiety issues depression will come in you know mm-hmm. you start having mental health issues and you're, you yourself utakuwa na hata self esteem issues so it will demoralize you not mm-hmm. this partner of yours so people are normally so blinded by love and they don't see that aspect of uh imakosa watu wanaona ng'a makosa kidogo let me just hii makosa ni kidogo acha tu ni ignore but there's nothing like being hakuna kuna kuna kitu kama makosa ndogo and there's also nothing like being petty Mm-hmm. But they, I usually say this. You When either, you remember, oh you're too petty. There's nothing like being petty. You just know what you want and you don't compromise for it. If you unaambiwa tu una ni blue tick, unaanza complain, uki blue tickio una complain, no mbona ni blue tick. Au mtu anakuambia, "Ah, ina uko petty." Let me tell you something. If your love language is communication, why tell me I'm petty? And Because I want you to communicate. What you want. It's what you want. Okay. Exactly. Don't I, compromise for what you want. Mm-hmm. As I as I said, because you know you. Mm-hmm. You know you and you come first. Your happiness, your peace of mind always should come first no matter what. So where do what is when, when we are told you when you come together you need to compromise some things mm-hmm. because you both have different things that you like and you mm-hmm. need to come yes. you know, and meet somewhere. Mm-hmm. So where does that place of where, where do you get to that place of uh, compromising? Aha. Uh-huh. The, the the point of compromising. Mm-hmm. Mimi sioni uh, kama you should you should you should compromise anything in a relationship. That's <laughs> so actually you know when we talk about compromising uh-huh. unajua um, our society, our culture, tradition, our parents have defined how we should live in a relationship. Ushaisikia partners wenye mm-hmm. let me use an example of married couples. Okay. Married couples who have uh, wameoana uh, na wameka like two years, three years then kumekuwa na issue kidogo then mm. maybe the lady is not comfortable in that marriage then i endeambia mzazi oh you know what my husband is maybe for example let me use example of uh, infidelity cheating mm-hmm. maybe my husband is being infi- is, be- is cheating on me ameambia ame dem ameenda kuambia wazazi wake my, my husband yangu ame, ame cheat na mimi sipendi na nataka kutoka mm-hmm. juu si mwanamke mmoja na sijui at- ataniletea magonjwa gani mzazi anakuambia ngaje na ngana tu Mwombe ata mwombe ata change toka kwa bauma yako mm. that's what they say right that's what they say because uh, you know that, uh, uh, you know our culture our tradition our, our parents when you your time you cannot compare compare the, 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 their times with our times it's yeah. a different thing you know their times maybe there was no education they were not learned there was no that bit of knowledge kabisa 
kama ilikuwa ilikuwa kiasi so hata ukikwambia ungangane utangangana hapo ukikufa mentally utangangana hapo ukikuwa na anxiety issues what expense you know mm-hmm. do not compromise anything no matter what the society uh, says about marriage hata at ukiwa na issue you know one thing you know uh, Kenya na supporting ni you know when, when you get into marriage kuna vitu mbili huwa zinakuwa muhimu sana even before you get into marriage uh, or if you want to get into marriage mm-hmm. forgiveness 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 but don't forgive to a point that you don't see mm-hmm. you are blinded by forgiveness you know ladies uh, naturally ladies forgive a lot of times mhm mwanamume akichoka nechoka amechoka sisi ndio tunajua igo ya mwanamume inakuwa anga ukuju <laughs> na mwanamume anaweza kupea chance lakini atakupea chance na 50-50 but a lady can forgive but as ma- uh, no matter how many uh, times you forgive your partner don't forgive your partner that you, that you don't uh, you don't see you don't identify some of the red flags that your partner does to you mm-hmm. in your relationship Okay. You know but if you, the moment you know you umeanza ku ignore umeanza ku compromise your happiness in that relationship it means you're not happy okay. your happiness has not been yeah? I, and i want to touch on compromise uh, compromise still on marriage mm-hmm. but when we get to marriage okay. but still uh, on dating how do you make sure the on dating and courtship mm. how do you ensure that there's happiness in that relationship because there are some who date and they're not even happy in that yes, relationship yes. or some who are courting and they are preparing for marriage yes. yet they are not happy they are not even sure they want to to take this person home but because of societal pressure they they are going they are going ahead with the plans mm. so how do we ensure uh, there's happiness in yeah. the marriage uh, in the, in, sorry in, in, the, the dating, in the dating and the courtship how you ensure there's happiness if uh, mm. the number one number one is uh, if you, you know you know that you don't settle for less you come first at the end of the day mm-hmm. you, you need to you need to uh, you need to you know, one thing you need to do is make sure your partner mm-hmm. respects you right. respect comes both ways hata kama wanasemanga respect wanaume wanapenda respect sana but i also believe a lady also love respect ah mo upendi ku respect of course respect is i we don't talk about we talk about respect it doesn't matter which 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 gender Goes respect both goes both ways and number one and the second thing after, after respect number one is respect number two now is trust unajua uh, you cannot get into a relationship if you don't trust somebody mbona mm-hmm. I, I, i don't believe in um when it aje word yeah trust issues um mtu anashinda kichunguza chunguza inse- insecurity ah uh, okay yeah Unajua uh, when, you, when you realize your partner is insecure it means that your partner had not even trusted you even before you got into, into this relationship. Insecurity mm-hmm. is actually one of the reasons as to why most relationships and marriages end. Because mm-hmm. you're too insecure. And that insecurity comes maybe from either your previous relationship. And on insecurity, how do you know that this person is insecure or this person is just uh you know loving because some people uh in being insecure they call you like 50 times a day and mm. some people take that to be love and yes. then and then Julia Hali mm. and they actually brag about it how how do you know this is insecurity and this is just love how how you know if it is insecurity <laughs> let me tell you something um when you, the moment you've started being insecure it means that maybe you have seen something fishing your partner Maybe before we came relationship you had trusted your partner but ikifika mahali maybe in your first year second year third year whichever year you have started being insecure maybe you had noticed insecurity doesn't just come from anywhere mm-hmm. maybe amekuonesha signs maybe akipigiwa kitambo alikuwa anashika simu akiwa hapo so anaanza kutoka mm-hmm. akitext yeye yeah, ana deleting message so unapata hata message zako kwa, kwa simu yake ame delete Unajua when, when, when the moment you have, you have decided to date somebody or been in a relationship with somebody you need now to identify now this is not about you a personal individual ideas or views it is now you both of you come in between mm-hmm. na mkikuja pamoja it's just one ideas mnafanya pamoja and everything so the moment now um umeanza kuwa insecure umeanza you know, talking about insecure umeanza kushinda unachunguza your partner you know mbona ukwe CID kwa relationship si utoke tu kama una furaha wacha reverse story mm. moja sasa una, unajikula kichwa mm-hmm. una, 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 unaanza ku hack the people who actually hack their partners whatsapp <laughs> yeah. unajikula kichwa you're not happy ukianza unaona ukifika mahali umeanza ku hack part, your partners whatsapp so you know you're not happy aha uh-huh. so you're in the wrong place you're in the wrong place and is it necessary for you to be happy in a relationship very necessary aha uh-huh. I, I think we need to start with this I'll because I'll take happiness for a relationship. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people go in a relationship because of uh come on, my celeb, you know, 
especially mm -hmm. the influencers because yes. this person is known so you know even going for happiness because you're being frustrated in this relationship you're yes. being beaten in this relationship you're mm -hmm. actually dating and you're being beaten but you're still there you're, you're still not happy there, yes. yeah so is happiness necessary in a relationship happiness is so necessary mm -hmm. the same same way your happiness is very necessary okay what does it mean stuff mtu akikufurahisha una feeling aje of are you course. are you Let's sad? Vizuri. Let's sana. Yeah. So hebu niambie kwa relationship au furaishwi. Mm. Utakuwa na stress, unaumwa na kichwa. Na unajua uh, process ya stress. Unajua kuna ugonjwa, ugonjwa zenye zinakuwa related na stress. Yeah. Ninaanzanga na headaches. Alafu inaenda migraines. Alafu unaanza kupata heartburns. After heartburns unaanza kupata ulcers. After ulcers <laughs> unapata H pylori. Juu ya mtu. Juu ya mtu. <laughs> Why? Why? Kama hauko happy, happiness is Go. very important. And mm -hmm. you actually need to know what you want. It actually starts from you. Your happiness starts with you. Starts with not you. with the other part, mm -hmm. part, partner. Ni wewe mwenyewe unafaa kuji make happy. Even before, even when you're, if you're watching right now and you're single and you maybe want to be in a relationship with somebody, your happiness starts with you. Make yourself happy. You don't have to date somebody kwa sababu wako na pesa ndo kupeleka an expensive restaurant. Get why you. don't you, yes, why don't you just start with you taking yourself to that restaurant? First. First. Make yourself happy. You single jay could date mtu ati kwa sababu unaona hakona pesa, hakona fame. Mm. You won't eat that fame in that relationship. But some, actually, you've brought another point. <laughs> some people say, Kuzza, what makes a happy relationship? Mtu atasema finances. Mm. So if you don't mm. have the money, then I, I mean. Yeah, wanasemanga, wanasemanga, uh, money, money can, wanasemanga money can, money buy, can love. buy me love. Yes. Yeah. Wana samanga money can buy love na money can never buy. Wana samanga money cannot buy happiness. Uh, yeah, money can buy happiness it buys love. I yes. am not even sure. So uh, let me like tell you something. Uh, when it comes to money, money can never buy love. But money is important. Finances are important in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Not you being a billionaire or a millionaire, but at least have something. So is finances important is is it an important factor in a, in a relationship especially in courting and dating we'll look, we'll even look at it in the marriage setup but in dating and courtship is it important what i can say is your happiness is important finances are just one of the adapts top ups uh -huh. in that so relationship so it's one of the factors it's one that of will the factors the relationship but not necessarily the main factor mm -hmm. the main factor is your happiness then finance tops up kuna watu wanasemanga kwanza madam i cannot date a data broke man actually ndio ina, ina, ina trend nowadays yeah. ladies saying ah if you are broke i was hapana brokenness you cannot if you are not don't have money i saw a tiktoker saying if i, I, I don't know what's, what's her name it's a lady mm -hmm. alikuwa anasema if my relationship uh, sijui kama relationship yangu ina pesa nitaipeleka optika hadi ione pesa hata ivalisha miwani hadi ione pesa unaona but let me tell you something it all starts with you if your purpose or your reason for you getting into a relationship is money psh, then i think you're wasted mm. but if someone you know wants money and they think that's where they find their happiness then getting with a person not because they love them but because of the money they have will mm. they find happiness in that relationship i don't think they will never find happiness and if your purpose is money in a relationship sit down with that person I usually advocate for being real by the way. Mimi ni pesa mimi nataka by the way. Ndio kama by the way mimi unasema hivi kwa tu real. Kama umepatana na mse unaona kabisa wewe unataka school fees. Eh unaona unataka pesa. And when you talk about money the people who actually are date for ladies are actually ladies who date older men mm -hmm. for money because maybe they needed a father figure you know and actually men who date older women because they needed a mother figure but you know if you're you are getting, if you're getting into a relationship with somebody and you need money you need finances tell them straight forward. Mimi by the way Yes, ita kudanganya hii relationship yako mimi uko na pesa na unanibamba pesa yako ni inanibamba inanivutia your, your money has attracted me has attracted and if it is sex go direct to the point you know what Steph? mimi nataka sex and that's it then that's it so this person knows you both you know? know this exactly unajua kuna but then you know it is funny that uh, when, when you talk about now vinyo nimesema pesa na sex mm. the people actually love it when you're real the people <laughs> actually it is funny that mm -hmm. there are people when they meet mm -hmm. maybe wewe kama chali ulikuwa mwana udem for sex. Lakini unafikiria huyu dem atajamu sana ukimwambia uki anataka sex. Na maybe huyu dem alikuwa pia anataka sex kwako. Oh. Maybe you are in the same so angle. So you actually you have mutual Exactly and you cannot know that if you don't <laughs> say it. Kama unataka sex kama unataka pesa straight forward. If it is if it is, if kama umesema but I imagine uko kwa relationship and you're not you're not being uh, your, your 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 bit of finances are not being met, your bit of intimacy and sex is not being met. 
mm. just because maybe wewe ulikuwa unataka tu hiyo but haupati hiyo then we end up kwa break mtu kwa sababu waja kupatia kitu ulikuwa unataka so, just mm. set it clear just put uh, wa, make it to, clear. yes make it clear before you even set. start mm -hmm. dating or before you even start getting into this relationship with this person okay so yes. can we comfortably say that if you have the same uh, agendas or if you share the same um goals mm. in terms of what you want in a relationship then your relationship will be happier exactly it all starts with you mm -hmm. and uh, talking with your partner mukubaliane kama kuna kitu moja uh, maybe kama aibambi hey, partner wako mnaweza kuja to an agreement useme hivi na hivi unaweza kuwa just structure your relationship to a point point where it can you can mm -hmm. make your relationship happy that's the most important thing because when you talk about happiness happiness, happiness is individual and it's uh, based on a relationship or a couple unajua tunaweza waambia but unajua maybe we for example your 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 happiness in that relationship is uh, is respect and not trust then it is fine you know it is it is a, it is an individual perspective you know mm -hmm. but it is important that trust is there loyalty is there you know respect is there uh, knowing your partner's love languages affirming this partner of yours it is very important okay yes okay so so th those are some of the things that i needed to be there for you know dating and courtship yes now can we move to the marriage okay, now okay. the marriage setup okay what makes a happy marriage what makes a happy marriage mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very tricky question T tell us <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something um what makes a happy marriage is mm. uh, a marriage or a relationship that is mm -hmm. in line with what both of you are seeing the future the vision that you have yes because before ta marry um say lazima ukue vision oriented would you want a person who is not vision oriented no mtu mwenye anaangalia tu now uh-uh actually you think ladies are attracted to men with vision yes who have a vision and also yeah. men personally personally vision <laughs> is actually very important you can have the brains but no vision <laughs> but no vision you know no no it happens uh -huh. so vision is important so you, you, the moment you want to get into uh, into marriage you know you need to you need to be vision oriented if your partner is not earning enough you are vision oriented that ana at least ana ana make effort that that sooner or later you're gonna you know they they are this they kuna ukapo kuna hii couple uh, mm -hmm. inajulikana sai uh, let me mention them na wanajulikana njugush na uh -huh. celestin yeah ukisikia story ya njugush na celestin celestin alikuwa analipia njugush keja akiwa campus yeah and they and right now where are they angalia story ya terence creative and the wife yes and the wife mm -hmm. how many are women gonna celebrate 10 years in marriage mm -hmm. ukiangalia story yao they were not terence was not making that much akianza Mm -hmm. They were not even aqua aqua na make that much but look at where they are it mm -hmm. starts with a happy marriage is your partner vision oriented mm -hmm. ama yanaangalia tu sai mm -hmm. you know? should yeah. the vision be a common you know should it be a common vision for both of you because when you come together you have your vision yes. and she has her vision yes. so should you bring it together or should you just accommodate each other's vision uh, what i can say is uh, the moment now you even uh, decide to get into marriage kaini tu chini na upa tuna wako uh, na namsikizane na msikiza hizo vision zenye mko nazo uh, your, your wife mm. ama your partner before you get into now marriage ako na fiance let me use the word fiance yeah. ako na vision uh, the, the, the lady has a different vision now the man has a different vision kaini tu chini mu agree this is my this is my vision as, as a lady this is my vision as a man what do you think mm -hmm. Ka, can we can we fix this na kama kama ni kitu inaweza fixika pamoja na mkuja into an agreement that this is it then why not but i believe that when it comes to vision uh, you you need to as much as you have individual visions you mm -hmm. need to bring them muziweke kwa table na na muzi discuss na kama 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 kuna vision it makes sense muna i minus you know when mm -hmm. it comes to marriage marriage is not just short term marriage is long term long term for the for the better part of it you know for better for us in sickness and in health Mm. to love and, and to hold and why <laughs> why is it that nowadays the the vows are not working till death do us part why is it not like it was before you know till you know in sickness and in health because people leave each other in sickness but then. Steph, uh, wanasema for for richness eh? for richness and for poor but nasikia wanasema for richness and for richness yeah <laughs> in richness for richness and for richness <laughs> when you know retire by this yes. ko, ko vows so what what is different about this uh, uh times uh, in this generation gen z generation z 
mm. that we are, these in times very crucial yeah. and uh, it is funny that i have done my research and uh, most young people were, were, were not were, were into marriage and number one reason is maybe because of uh, what they see on social media mm -hmm. you know they are actually celebrities who don't actually advocate for marriage they're actually so negative about marriage. And maybe you as a person, your role model is that celebrity. Then you listen to what that celebrity has to say. You'll just go and pass the same, same negativity to your friend. And your friend will pass it to another friend. And it will just go evil, evil. So mm -hmm. what I can say is this generation, actually, by the way, funny thing is that most, uh, most, most young people, most people in this generation don't actually love marriage. Our, pre our, our Jaika marriage come a priority. But let me tell you something. Marriage is good. Marriage is good. Mm -hmm. When you are marriage, you are marriage is nice. So if you're there and you're thinking maybe you are not going to be happy in marriage, mm -hmm. uh, just first of all, if you're, if you're dealing with that issue, maybe it has to do with your previous uh, relationship, maybe your childhood trauma. You know, yeah. some of those things are one of the things maybe unapata. Kuna watu wenye our angaliangi marriage come a priority, maybe because they say they saw you their dad. Uh, physically abusing or domestic violence, it happen kwa, kwa home. So to them, marriage is nothing, uh -huh. you know. But uh, one one thing I can say is marriage is good. Marriage is nice. Uh, it just uh, it just depends with uh, how you look in uh, how how you look at marriage. So marriage works. Marriage actually works. Mm -hmm. But in a work, kama we mo nyewe unataka i work. In a work, kama we mo unataka i work. It works if you want it to work. Because if you don't want it to work, when I talk about in a work, kama unataka i work, apa tu tunongelea kuhusu sasa those those physical qualities that you want in a partner. Yeah. Because now kiangalia physical qualities na character and personality, ya wangali tu in a partner, yuna unangalia in a husband or a wife. Because okay. you're not just looking at it in the in the in the short term aspect. You're looking at it in the long, long term, term aspect. Okay. Yes. Very interesting. And now in marriage, because um, you two are coming together with uh, different personalities yes. and everything, and this is the time where it actually shows. Uh, if you're not staying together before, mm. uh, you didn't have a come stay. So you get you get frustrated by that. Does yes. that dull the happiness? Does it, you know, take it away the, the happiness that was there? Unajua Steph, marriage actually, part of marriage reveals some of the hidden you. Mm. Unajua kuna watu wali kuwana feature the, uh, how, how they were behaving waki date. That's the moment now I'm in kwa marriage is and wanaji reveal. Unajua I had, it is funny that I, 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 I once had a conversation with a guy. It is so funny. Uchali, uchali anini alifanya ni feel so frustrated because the aspect of marriage alikuwa naangalia marriage kama to something so, so little. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine if you pass that same idea, that same negative, that negative mind to somebody, to other people, sasa tutakuwa na whole uh, negative mindset of marriage generation. Trust you me, it is, it is, mm -hmm. it is, uh, it is actually real and it's a fact that honestly speaking, speaking in the next 10 years, I don't think most young people will get into marriage because of what has been fed. You, in the next 10 years, Young people won't get most young people most, most young won't people get into marriage because mm -hmm. unajua marriage what we define ka unajua sasa nowadays unaona anga social media couples wana portray kila kitu the young couples wako hapo wanakosana ana break up anasema next mwingine anakuja anakosana next so unapata mwingine hata wame people wengine wameoana unapata wamekuwa divorce wame divorce ni kama this kuna kuna this billionaire mwenye ali divorce the wife so you can imagine if a young person watches that billionaire uh, aki, aki divorce now if what will uh, what will her or what will his perspective be on marriage it, it doesn't it, work and it's okay to leave immediately if things go wrong ex kidogo. exactly but okay. vinyo, vinyo umesema about sasa kuingia kwa marriage alafu mtu anaanza uh, socks anatupa pale kama ni nguo kama before kwa relationship alikuwa anazipanga vizuri the moment you have now getting gotten into marriage unaanza sasa kuona uko disorganized uh, umeuliza if it if it reduces the happiness mm -hmm. To some extent it does, but it all uh, depends on how you solve it. You know, you know, the moment even before you get into marriage, you have to be mature enough mm -hmm. because marriage doesn't need immaturity. <laughs> doesn't need immaturity. You need to be mature enough to get into marriage. Okay, because, let's, yeah, let's take a no break problem. there no and then problem. we continue okay. with this uh, conversation okay. when we come back. All right, we are talking about uh, how to find happiness in a relationship or what makes a happy relationship. Let's take a short break and then we'll be right back. 
I am sitting in for Ram Aguko. My name is Stephanie Ayata and we continue with a conversation on what makes a happy relationship. Just before the break, we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, what makes a happy relationship in a marriage setup. But before we continue with that, we have another guest that has just joined us. This is Cheryl Blessing, who's an entrepreneur and a student. Cheryl, yes. Karibu. Asante sana. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. I've been listening into the conversation. It's very interesting. Uh, so far, so far, what are you picking and what are you not, uh, you know, for? <laughs> <laughs> I like everything that's been said because mm -hmm. I, I agree, mm -hmm. especially um, about with the respect, you being happy, you being whole in yourself mm -hmm. before going into a relationship. Yes. Okay. Because most people rely on someone else to be the happiness mm -hmm. but yeah so you need to be happy first before you get in that relationship yes. and now uh uh, as uh, Anthony was saying, mm -hmm. that you shouldn't compromise when you get into a relationship. Do you agree with this? Because people say when you get into a relationship, there's a lot that you need to compromise because you're two yeah. different people. So what's your take on this? I think first, when you understand yourself, mm -hmm. you know what your boundaries are. Exactly. You know what your limits are. Mm -hmm. So if you're not willing to compromise on certain issues, then mm -hmm. never compromise on it. Because years later, it will still come back sure. and haunt you. Sure. But there are things like, the way you're saying, if you mm -hmm. find out that your man comes in, throws socks all over the place, mm -hmm. <laughs> things like that you can yeah. understand yes, and be yes. like, okay, this is the kind of person I'm with. How am I going to handle it? Mm -hmm. So there are things that you can compromise on, things that are reasonable and do not go beyond your boundaries. They, they do not affect you. They are not yes. toxic, mm -hmm. as most people say. But if things pass your limits, if something goes beyond your boundaries, let's say you have an issue with, uh, you like when someone is honest, communicates openly, but then you get someone who does not really disclose everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't tell you, this is the kind of business I do, or, this is what I do at work. You know, you might be okay with that for three, four months, but, th but then later on, you'll start wondering, why is he not telling me this? Mm. What is being hidden, you know? So there are things that you should never compromise on at all, but then there are things that... It's okay to compromise on. Yes, the little all things. Right. So you yeah. compromise, but have a limit on what you compromise on. Yes. I am seeing you nodding, Anthony. So do you agree with this? Yes, or you I still hold? I agree. I agree with what, what, what she said. Mm -hmm. I'm on the facts. Okay. Uh, your aspect of Kurusha socks is not The small, small, small uh, things. The small, small <laughs> things. To be, to, uh, to be to at least, you can say, you can say, you can say, by the way, this mm -hmm. is this. But you know, she did not say if uh, a partner is uh, mm -hmm. obsessively <laughs> into cleanliness. Into you know people with OCD. Have you heard of OCD? Eh, OCD, you're a perfectionist. Compulsive disorder. Kama meza iko hivi, ba, unataka iko hivi. Usha yona wale watu, awaezi taka kukula kijiko na mtu. Ama, kama ni kuosha kikombe na jovile kikombe ya nafaa kuoshwa. So you have to compromise because this is the personality. That's actually a personality exactly. that people carry. So you the, shouldn't compromise the, the, on the, the people who are people with OCD are actually mm. so uncomfortable. Ukupata pat, partner mwenye kona such traits za kutupa socks everywhere na yeye maybe ana believe even those nafaa kukwe arranged na kukwe kusafi. It would be a challenge. Actually people with OCD mm. wana kuanga pressure kwa relationship na, 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 na kwa partners wao. Na hata kwa wageni. Ushaipata mtu mwenye unaenda kwao na umeketi wewe ni mgeni ndio wanaosha nyumba. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Ameanza kuosha nyumba na wewe ni mgeni. No, 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 no. Unaona <laughs> sasa ako so obsessed na, na kitu kidogo hata kitu kidogo kinguka hapa chini ana, anaona ah hapana ina that's that's so, a personality disorder and those people with OCD actually need to get uh, help okay. professional help because it can be a challenge when mm -hmm. you get into marriage because actually that's that's the issue ba, unapata mkiwa kwa hiyo relationship maybe partner wako alikuwa anaelewa hata kama hata kama unajua partner wako ako na hiyo ako obsessed na, na usafi and every, every, every perfect kitu kiwa perfect eh? anaelewa tu lakini the moment now you get into marriage yeah, and I complain, see, and I, kama ni dem when you're obsessed na usafi. Kama mese, for, for example, uh, ume, ume, ume kula chakula, ume chasani kwa meza. Na unajua kabisa, sani ife kuka kwa meza, <laughs> inafaa kwa jikoni. Sasa it, ka, it, it, ka, it actually uh, can become an issue to the man because you know there are men in this society who believe it's a lady's job, uh, job too. too. Clean the, the, the uh, kama ni, ni mekula, ni taate tu wapo, sini, dema meni. But it, it, shouldn't be, it should be be that way. Yoni masculinity nye tunafatu. Toxic masculinity. Yeah, kuna bedeza people who actually read with that 
ngumu mm. kukaa ki, ki mwanaume mwanaume eh? what are juaje of the man in this house kuna watu yeah. actually there is a conversation we are having hapa na ram ya yeah. mambo na roles kwa relationship yeah eh hey, na nilichangia na and i was supporting a man should even wash the clothes i want to call grandma call like nyoshe eh hey, mwanaume are you a man <laughs> that can't be ram that no? cannot be ram <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh-huh. so, there, 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 there are things that uh, when it comes to now uh, people with OCD it can mm-hmm. become a challenge yeah. in okay. a challenge exactly so, for, for you uh, Cheryl do you think personality now plays a role in how the relationship pans out and if the relationship will be a happy one so yeah. should people match their personalities when they get into a relationship and eventually marriage yes I think it's very important and I like that he's brought that one aspect of OCD because mm-hmm. right now we talk about mental health mm-hmm. and all the traits. Mm-hmm. You have to understand who your partner is. Mm-hmm. What are their challenges? Exactly. Who are they really, who, what are they battling with? Yes. You see the little things because they might have even anger issues mm-hmm. that you ignore when you start dating. Yes. Mm-hmm. Later on it's going to affect you. Mm-hmm. You have to understand, truly understand who your partner is internally and then look within yourself. Ujulize. Can I be able to handle mm, this? Yes, am yes. I a- can I tackle if if my partner has OCD? Am I able to put this pencil exactly where it's supposed to be mm. for 50 years yes. of my life? You know, you have to really be willing to commit to that personality because if you go in and say we're going to try and make it work, it probably won't it won't work so you shouldn't <laughs> think that you're going to try and make it work mm-hmm. then it works before it doesn't yeah be a hundred percent sure before you commit especially to marriage yes, yes. be a hundred percent sure before you commit to someone understanding who they are what their personality traits are and if they align with yours because let me give an example of right now most, most people like going out turning up ladies let's say a lady mm-hmm. likes going out every single weekend they like branching on sunday they're going out with their girlfriends for cocktails and whatnot. Mm-hmm. If you're a man and you say, I understand that this is who she is and I'm willing to bear with it, you have to know that you, you should be willing to bear with that even through your marriage, mm-hmm. even when she's a mother. Because sure. what if she never changed that? Because yes. maybe in three years, aneza change, aneza acha. what if she never changes that? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have to really align your personalities, understand each other, because when you're coming into a marriage, it's not just about the two of you anymore. Exactly. It's your families, you'll bring children into that mm-hmm. possibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you have to think if you're willing to deal with this for the rest of your life. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what if uh, you've said that, you know, a person maintains their character before marriage into marriage uh, we, we, you know, even with you hoping that she will change yeah. after some time but uh, they don't but what happens now uh, Anthony when someone portrays a, a certain character you know yeah. I am the past, I'm the type of uh, you know lady that will clean your clothes before marriage and now I'm into marriage and I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> that's not my job by the way so yeah. you need to also come in and work and you are that uh, how do I call it that uh, man with toxic masculinity or the african yeah. man yeah you wanted your things to be done like this and this and the lady was doing it and now in marriage she has changed and wants you to do it because of what the society now advocates for you know sharing roles yes. so what yeah. happens in that <laughs> instance let me tell you something Steph, eh? mm-hmm. before marriage even before you uh you start dating mm-hmm. you need to have a deep conversation with your part with your person or this person that you wanna do life with mm-hmm. <laughs> you know uh, the moment now you uh, you get into now this this relationship unajua wewe unajua kenye unataka wewe unajua venye inafaa unaona but uh, when you talk about roles in a relationship or in marriage i don't actually advocate for that because that's a, that's the tradition maybe some people will actually advocate for roles ama maybe kama ni demo uliko na nio share uliko na nio share vyombo na nifulie tu kidate tumeanza kuminga kwa marriage sasa ufanyangi hizo zote mhm nitakukumbusha before nikupate ni kama for example wale partner wenye nikikujua uliko unapaka makeup <laughs> lakini wakati nimekuoa tumewacha <laughs> umeanza kukuoa sasa wanawake wa women's guild <laughs> kitamba <laughs> yeah. kwa kichwa lakini before ulikuwa unanivalia vizuri unapaka makeup you know ulikuwa na those classy bags but sahi ukitukishakuoa umeanza sasa uko natural uko na zile mamifuko za kuenda nini kikapu Kika. ama zile umejiachilia <laughs> umejiachilia one thing i usually say if you have started your relationship at that note 
make sure you continue with not that. continue exactly vinye you say because you can't even to pack makeup the same evil because definitely you can't but yeah. you know at least uh, don't usi 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 relax mm-hmm. and yeah. actually one thing men let me tell you one of the reasons why uh, married men cheat is because they are looking for the girlfriend they married in this relationship uh-huh. the moment they got into this relationship or this marriage with this woman she was before they got into that they were the, the lady was doing so walikuwa anafanya kila kitu vizuri alikuwa anakaa vizuri amejirembesha but the moment ali muoa aka relax let me tell you something kama umenianzishia that not is it lazima ati upake makeup ama dress vizuri vile ulikuwa una dress but at least try to maintain try yeah. to look good for me because mm-hmm. that is what attracted me to True. you so just try to maintain that person that you are exactly don't you know? change who you are trying to show me ulikuwa kuna jaribu kunyonyesha wewe ni demo wa makeup au ni demo wa dior na louvu to ah ulikuwa unasema louis vuitton vuitton utachama wewe ni kwa demo dior na louvu to sasa the moment sasa nimekuoa umeanza ku relax hata ubebangi nini handbags Squeezy <laughs> unabeba kikapu <laughs> hapa kwa hata si kwa mikono <laughs> kichwa oh hapa <laughs> so <laughs> how how will, the, how will me uh, the, uh, as, a, as a man 10 years 20 years after how will i how will i portray that see kama mimi mwanaume nitaona ah si wacha niende nitafute mwanamke mwingine mwenye niliona unaona do you agree because that? when yeah yeah and it's because true. when men uh, when men or you know women too uh, cheat they go looking for happiness because they say they they don't find happiness exactly. in the yeah. marriage so we can allude that as one of the reasons yes. why yeah. because someone changed in that marriage now still on that point what wanna say manga um in marriage love doesn't sustain the marriage i don't know how true this <laughs> is love doesn't sustain the marriage because at some point mnafika La, the love fades away yeah, yeah. so yeah, what yeah. remains and when the love goes does the happiness go to uh let's start with you Cheryl i think first you should be friends through your relationship mm-hmm. form a friendship exactly. do things you both enjoy doing exactly. understand each other mm-hmm. so that even beyond love your friends because even in a relationship let's not lie mm-hmm. it gets to some point maybe this man has been doing some things that annoy you mm. till you feel like do i really love him anymore yeah but then you're there <laughs> because <laughs> yeah you, you have a friendship beyond love love is just one of the factors it's it's a very important factor but it's just one of the factors mm. you have to have a friendship yes. you have to have an understanding it's yes. a partnership yes for sure because let's say like our parents it's been 30 plus years 40 plus years mm-hmm. you will not love the person the same way mm. years will mtakuwa mna fluctuate mm. it's going to be one time you yes. love the person more the other time he just does some things you to annoy you don't see him yeah yeah <laughs> but then if you're friends even beyond that you'll still want to hang out with him mm-hmm. you'll still want to come back home and be chilling with your your man so it's very important to have a friendship have an understanding and then do things that are common for both of you do for things sure. that you both enjoy yes. mm-hmm. so that you always have something that you can lean back to yes. so that if you're not going on dates at least we can go maybe take a walk mm. we can drive around yes. we can watch a movie yes. things that create a bond such that even if the love dies down or yes. it trickles down kidogo you still want to have their company in your life okay yeah. so uh, anthony do you agree that love doesn't influence happiness there or from what she says I agree I agree when you say my love is just no no it's important eh? mm-hmm. but when you say my it's true it's, it's it's good to be friends with your partner it is just but to yeah. sifike mali unaita nanga bro it's <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> too much I just am gonna shindo sasa since you say my sasa mko friends in your in your whole mar- in your whole relationship and marriage sasa muanza kuita nanga bro hadi una change contact una save brother na love emoji shuali Eh, ama unamuita jina yake unaona the things the things hata kama love mm-hmm. kuna, kuna times tafika ita fluctuate eh? okay. i believe you should maintain that friendship it's important being okay. friends with your partner because vinyen lesema ulikuwa na nyuliza stages the relationship i think she had not come before then mm-hmm. it's a friendship should start yeah. maintain that friendship but not yeah. usi usi friend zone partner wako to yeah. <laughs> Yeah, eh? in at least in line. So okay. you know, the moment you make a friends on mind, eh? Uh-huh. Itakuwa ngumu sana hiyo. Hiyo marriage itakuwa itakuwa that. But mm-hmm. najua nowadays unajua um nowadays we talk about marriage na being friends. I've had people saying that uh, mm-hmm. kwa marriage the moment umekosana na na partner wako kwa hiyo kwa hiyo marriage watu wengi kwanza said rambi yango na wazazi wetu. 
tukikosana utatoka tu utarudi nyumbani lakini utarudi tu hapo hata bwana yako hata kutafuta utajilata tu hapo kwa sababu uh, unajua times vinye mlianza unajua ile moto ya kuanza relationship mm-hmm. haita maintainiwa kabisa ikifika imagine mko 50 na hiyo energy bwana bwana bado kunini talking about that what is the place of intimacy in a pg kind of way so what is the place of intimacy does it bring happiness in a relationship starting with you i think so in my opinion i think romance and intimacy have to always be a part of your marriage and yes, your relationship yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. cuz if you're not intimate with your partner then you don't really feel attached you know it brings some sort of attachment if they hold your hand if they hug you if they kiss you you'll feel some type of way yes. just by that yes. the the emotion they're showing if they take you out on a date it makes you feel some type of way so i feel like it's very important to still remain intimate throughout even if it's just a simple gesture Mm-hmm. kiss their hand hold their hand something simple to show them that you genuinely still want them and you're physically attracted to them because mm-hmm. that's another thing that's important in relationships if there's no physical attraction it's probably not going to last that long mm-hmm. so that needs to be a factor and also the way he's saying you usi friend zone partner ko kabisa 100% have some romance maybe once a week mm-hmm. decide let's go out just the two of us yes. so that you can rekindle that mm, the flame yes. that you once had because yes. otherwise it's going to die down and people you know once we get comfortable we get to a position where sinimempata si tumeona i have a ring on my finger mm. you feel like you don't need to do more yeah. but you do because out here there's still people who are trying yeah, and exactly. You know you can't just be complacent in the fact yes, that yes. we are married we live together we have a family no you need to do more to make the marriage exciting for both of you okay so at that yeah. point uh, Anthony would you say that if there is no romance and intimacy in that marriage then you can leave then it's okay <laughs> to leave you should leave kweli unafanya nini hapo but your friends you've said you can be friends and that's important so, so, so your friends no, no, no. story you come from work you share stories you you so do things me, together let me give you an example uh-huh. Steph, i am married to a lady tunapiga story wana wana hakuna kitu <laughs> the whole day we are not doing anything and we are married yeah mbona niko na ring si tungekuwa tu mabeste basi tuko tu normal friends uh-huh. actually intimacy is important very so important so it's key it's yeah. key, it's so, key. but unajua mm. sasa the moment umeanza ku umeanza kutokuwa intimate it will start raising question marks who are you who are you hanging out with uko nje mm, yeah. are you are you having some other lady or some other guy Man. out there yeah. no no so it it raises question marks intimacy is actually very important so, so it is important very is. important but si kwa kwa mabeshte tulisema that six months of being friends please don't ever involve sex mm mm-hmm. but watu wanasema nga hey, six months ati tunakuwa mabeshte na huyu mtu anataka kuwa na yeye ni kosa to involve sex age <laughs> but six months the moment you have, you have decided to be friends with someone mm-hmm. even before you get into dating and you have involved sex you have killed that relationship you've totally. killed it okay yes. so you preserve intimacy for the right time exactly yeah. and that should bring happiness especially in a marriage setting exactly okay so yes. talk eka ma kuna intimacy ah, kama kama kuna intimacy <laughs> don't, don't compromise <laughs> please don't <laughs> compromise <laughs> are you agreeing with that could, could you could you stay in a marriage for two years without intimacy Ooh. That will be tricky, no lie. Let's But then I'd have to see some effort. Exactly. I'd, I'd have to understand mm. why is there no intimacy? Mm-hmm. Are you going through something? Is it work, Probably, psychological? Yeah. Yes. Once I understand why that's not happening, mm-hmm. we'll try and fix it and try to do better. Mm-hmm. Nta initiate maybe date nights. I'll try to to dress up, look good so that you know. Nice to work. Well, go. You we gotta live. You live. All right. And yeah. what is the place of having a child in a marriage does that bring happiness in in that relationship because the <laughs> couples who generally uh, because of one reason or another can't have children yeah, sure. yeah. and uh, marriage is frustrated as mm-hmm. a result. So do you think that is one of the you know things that bring happiness in a marriage? Having a child? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say so because when you tulianza kusema happiness that begins with you it doesn't yeah. begin with my mm-hmm. partner it doesn't mm-hmm. begin with us having a kid it doesn't begin with you taking me out on a date it doesn't begin with you telling me how much you love me it begins with me but yeah. you also said it has to be you know things that you want 
-hmm. yeah? And mm -hmm. this is something that you want. And your partner maybe is the one that can't give you that, you know? Sasa venye amesema, unukumbuka kisema about uh, some things you can compromise. Kama you know your partner cannot uh, be able to get children, you can adopt. There are always yeah. options, but never put a child as a source of your happiness mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. things can happen. You, do, you, 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 can, you can never know. Where is it how life is? No, no, maybe how is it part of the reasons for learning? Maybe end will make a mistake, kitambo, na maybe in the consequence of the mistake will make. So, um, kama una define your happiness by having a child, then I don't think your source of being in that relationship, your, 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 your purpose of being in that relationship is actually genuine. Just you seek it to Mtoto ni blessing. Mtoto wa ifai kuwa happiness yako. Happiness yako ni wewe. Nji make too happy. Make okay. your partner happy. Make each other happy. But mtoto msipo pata. Mtoto it is still fine. They are, still couples, okay, yeah, the couples who, have actually, who actually are married for 20 years, they don't have a kid. They have adopted kids. You know, mm. and they are still happy. And they are still happy. They are still happy. Because at the end of yeah. the day, you are the, the two people that will grow all together. Exactly. You know, when the kids grow away. Exactly. Okay, do you agree yeah. with this, Cheryl? And also comment on the long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. What brings happiness to such a relationship? Um, <coughs> when it comes to kids, I think mm. first of all, the way he's saying, it's both of you to decide. Mm. And then you can find the people who do not want kids ever. For mm -hmm. sure. It's not because they can't have them or because they don't want to adopt. They just do not want kids. Mm -hmm. If I get into a marriage knowing that I'd like kids, I'd like to have some kids in future, and my partner does not want kids at all. Mm -hmm. And then I decide, no, I can change him or this mm -hmm. can change in a few years. Mm. So you have to know, you have to talk to your partner. These are the things you talk about. I think you should speak about finances, mental health, and parenting or even if they want children once you understand where they where their stance is what their mindset is about having children that can add to the happiness of your marriage it adds to it it doesn't it's not entirely all mm. the because the, the truth flavor. is mm. yeah the truth is children are stressful it's very hectic mm. <laughs> it's, it's hectic because imagine the period when the the ladies expectant yes you have all those hormonal changes yeah. mm -hmm. then the first year of having the child mm -hmm. the terrible twos come after and then yes. you have to figure out school all these things children mm -hmm. should not be your happiness they should sure. add to it once you decide that we want to have children mm -hmm. if you can't have a kid maybe because of uh, something that happened find out other ways that you can have children yeah mm -hmm. the best thing is in this day and time you can have surrogates you can adopt mm -hmm. there's so many other alternatives yes. so consider all those options if that is one thing that you want and in in terms of long distance relationships mm -hmm. i i i don't know the truth is it works <laughs> for some people it doesn't work for some people for sure because i have been in a long distance relationship it worked for some months but then Distance is a factor. Let's start from there. Uh -huh. You may talk all the time, but first of all, you, your schedules are off. Your time zone is probably off. Yeah. So I feel like it's important to, if you're in a long distance relationship, make time to see each other like as often as you can. Visit them. Let them visit you so that you can make it work. If you feel like that's a relationship that you can make work, make time see each other physically as opposed to just video calling texting all that because the truth is you may feel like because they're not present with you they're not there with you mm. something else is going on they may feel mm. the same so that in in months in years it will affect your relationship okay yeah and anthony for this some people say that they prefer long distance relationship to close contact or you know the normal relationship where you mm. see your, your partner every each and every other time because it limits the the times where you quarrel or the times where especially in a marriage setup it limits yeah. a lot of misunderstandings what do you say about this uh, when, when talking about long distance relationship mm. you know you are Long distance relationship is uh, individual. Uh, there are people who are comfortable with long distance relationship. There are people who are not comfortable with long distance relationship. And if you're a person who uh, opts for long distance relationship because you see, you, you, you see mm. it as a way of avoiding quarrels and arguments, eh? hey, you're in trouble. It is, yeah. it, is, it, is, it is actually, it's not actually the best mindset to have. Mm -hmm. if, if your mindset is, we are combali at argue. Then you're in what the is that? You're not even happy. You're not even happy. <laughs> yeah. so Actually, it's it, 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 it interrupting your happiness. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about long-distance relationship, communication is the main factor. Okay. 
Okay. The main, but I want to ask, I want to ask Steph. Then we close. Yeah. As we close, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Ask a quick one. <laughs> and I asked ladies this question: Would mm. you, if if you have a partner, a boyfriend, eh, and your boyfriend uh, made it for two years, eh, mm -hmm. and you are good, and okay, kuna ups and downs, definitely. Then uh, financial state yenu iko mahali tu wa iko mbali, wa iko mbaya sana. Mm -hmm. Then now your boyfriend is called for a scholarship or maybe a meeting wa job in uh, maybe UK mm -hmm. and uh, in a an and a contract yeah, maybe five years. And now this boyfriend of yours, you've already, you had already introduced them to your parents. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing where you're going in this. <laughs> so would you, would, you still be, would you still be happy? Would you still maintain that relationship? I, I, as Nothing. Cheryl said, you know, <laughs> I would take it to Cheryl. She said it depends yeah. on how you see the future uh, that you see. If you see a future in that person, then you make it work. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, Cheryl, what do you have to say? Let me throw that question <laughs> to you as we come okay. to your close and okay. give us your final take on okay. for someone who's going through something in a relationship and they still feel like they can rekindle it and bring mm -hmm. happiness back to it. What are some of the things that uh, they should do? And you'll also answer this question okay. as we come to okay. close and also give us your social handles. Okay. Uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it depends on both of you. Are mm -hmm. you willing to make it work? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to make time for each other? Mm -hmm. And going into that, you have Mejuana, because if you get to a point where you've introduced them to your parents, yes. Mejuana, yes. so you think you may have a future. For sure. Try and make it work if you want to. If you feel like it won't, go your separate ways. I feel like sometimes you only know if you love someone once you separate. You let them go. Yeah. Mneza Chana, then a few years later, Mpatane, then you, you make it work and it's the best thing ever. So do what's best for you. That's that's just all I say because it's up to you internally. Usi uh Jifinye, -huh. because I've introduced him or her to my, my yeah, parents. Yeah. Mm. And finally, I feel like... Mm -hmm. Each relationship is unique to each and every person. Know your boundaries, know who you are. Before you get into a relationship, just usi dive in because you feel like everyone else is dating, everyone else is doing this and that, there are couple goals that I want. Understand who you are and then go into a relationship knowing what you want and the kind of person you want to be with. Mm -hmm. If there are issues, and if these issues are mostly about your boundaries being crossed, if you're being disrespected or if you feel like your needs, your needs are not being met, sorry, mm -hmm. do not stay in that. Address an issue. Bring it up once, twice. If you have to bring it up more than four times, it's never going to change. That person clearly does not listen to you. So understand your person, understand yourself, understand your relationship, and then customize your solutions to your relationship. Do not just generalize, actually, these people did this, so it's going to work for us. No. Talk about it with your partner. Figure out a solution. If it truly does not work out and you've tried and you've tried, please go. Just go. Live. For your own mental health, for your own well-being. Because if you force things, it's going to come back and it's going to hurt you in ways that mm -hmm. are so bad, you won't be able to recover from that. All right. So, Wait, what's your social media handle? <laughs> I'm Cheryl Blessing across all social media handles. Instagram, Facebook, you can find me on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm Cheryl Blessing. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Thank you for the, <laughs> you know, the loaded point there. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank uh, you. What I can say is just three things. Eh? Mm. Happiness starts with you. Take care of your peace of mind, take care of your happiness, and take care of your mental stability. And if you're watching and your partner does not give you the three, do not compromise that because your happiness starts with you. Not with your partner, not with what the society says, not with what your family or the, mm -hmm. the, the whatever thing, whatever even you want to say, do not, do not. Take care of the three things. If you want to be happy, if you want your relationship to be, to be uh, fulfilling and uh, happy and sweet, take care of you because you always come first. Do not compromise your happiness for anything or anyone. And if you're watching this um, and you need any psychological help, I'm a counseling psychologist. Whichever issue, relationship, I do all issues. You can get me on my social media at official Anthony Njenga, official Anthony with a H on uh, Instagram, on Facebook Anthony Njenga, and on TikTok official Anthony Njenga. And my number is 0725 0725 02 93 98 0725 93 9, 0725 02 93
98. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, mm. lady and gentlemen, for you know helping us unpack this particular topic on the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So that Thank has you. been Cheryl Blessing and Anthony Njenga. Anthony is a counseling psychologist, and Cheryl Blessing is an entrepreneur and a student. And we have been talking about what makes a happy relationship. If you have not taken anything from this, just remember that your happiness starts with you, as Anthony has said, and as Cheryl has said that uh, you can customize solutions to your own relationship because each relationship is unique. You can share your take homes with us, of course, on our social media handle. That is at twy254 and the hashtag is Power Talk. My name is Stefania Yata and this has been Power Talk.